Hello guys, welcome to part 4 of how to create a virtual world series. In this video I was going to bring you guys how to make rooms and stuff like that for your uh, for your virtual people to walk in. But, I decided to take the time and show you guys the admin panel because it can be useful and it will only take a couple of minutes. So I'll be showing you guys how to make the rooms and stuff uh, in part 5 tomorrow. Anyways, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to navigate it and different stuff you can do with it. So first, you're going to want to start your server. I've already done so. Once you've done that, by hitting start.bat, go back in your Smartbox server main, and you're going to go to this admin folder. It should be at the top. Now, double-click admin tool.swf. Now, this will be SFS admin. Server IP address, unless you've uploaded this to a VPS or something like that, it should be 127.0.0.1 because that's your internal IP address. 9339, that's the correct port, just leave it at that. Now, username and password will come directly from this file, so enter exactly what you have in this file. If it's the default, enter the default. I have the password copied and pasted. Okay, so once you log into the admin panel, you've been, uh, if you're using the default, you'll be presented with this, which is what basically the exact same thing I said in the last tutorial, is that you should change it. So here you can view live statistics, you can server control it, you can see your resources, server load, data traffic, uptime, and statistics. Such as how many users are online, banned users, etc, etc. You can also refresh your stats. If uh, So that's just the server status and stuff. Here you can go into the zone browser, so instead of going through all that code and stuff, you can just go into here and change the room ID, the main, uh, the room name. And how many are the max users in it, game, temp, private, stuff like that. You can change all those values directly within here, which is more user-friendly. You can go to the ban users, where you will find people who are banned by either username or IP address. And you can, uh, you can basically unban them. You can remove them from the banned list. Here in the logs, you can check all the logs since the server's been ran, so if there's been a report of somebody, like, doing something that's breaking the rules and they weren't caught by the auto-filter, uh, then you can go into your logs and check what the user had said. Here in extensions, you don't really have to worry about it, that's just uh, extra stuff you can add on to your game, but that's more for, exa uh, like, uh, more advanced users. Blue box monitor, I'm still not quite sure what this is, but I think it's just the uh, the user list. So what their name is, uh, what room they're in, their session ID, login time, last, uh, whatever that is, I'm not actually sure. Here, you, And then in this final tab, you can edit the config.xml with this instead of notepad++, but I still recommend notepad++. Anyway, so that's basically all the stuff you can do with the admin panel, and... Yeah, so that can be very useful, and I'm going to show you guys one quick thing. So, if you decide to halt the server or restart the server, let's say I log in right here, and I go into my admin panel and halt the server, you can type a custom message. Sorry for the inconvenience. I think I spelt it wrong, but whatever. Send message. Now when you go into it, it'll say, the administrator message, and in 10 seconds, it will disconnect everybody from the server because you just halted it or restarted it. As you can see, it disconnected us. And that's basically it. So there's some of the stuff you can do with the admin panel. And I will see you guys in the next part where I'll be showing you guys how to do rooms. Once again, this is just a quick little video on how to navigate uh, this thing, this tool that can be quite useful. Anyways, I'll see you guys in part 5 tomorrow. Peace.